to Renee Elmers, but he will be in the spotlight for a while longer. Esquire Network is producing a docu-series of Clay's campaign. The cable okay. network is owned by NBC Universal. It will premiere in the first quarter of 2015. Crews follow Clay from the time he announced <laughs> Look at him. all the way through till the end. It's so weird seeing this transition for me from what mm -hmm. he was on American Idol with, you know, his singing and yeah. and then suddenly now he's like this grown-up politician. Like, I just, <laughs> it's so weird for me. I will just, you watch the docuseries? I don't know. Do you think you, you? I, I think I, I will. will. You will. <laughs> I don't want to ask you, Bill. <laughs> okay. I, I will. I, just... I figured so. I figured so. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> we love America's Got Talent. And if you have yes. talent, okay, which somebody out there, I'm sure does. Somebody's got to have talent, which airs here on NBC. <laughs> you can be auditioning for them, don't you worry. A few weeks ago, last season, finalist Miguel Dakota visited our show with you. Yes. And here's some video that NBC made a video to promote the auditions. And so we had a little fun during our portion. So we're in the NBC video. Yeah. Along with some other TV stations, radio stations that Miguel visited during his tour of the Southeast. So if you've got talent, you can audition today in Richmond. It's it's only a two-hour drive from Raleigh. Visit America's Got Talent Auditions.com to register, or you can submit a video audition online to the same website. Woot, woot. So if you got talent, get out there. Yeah. One place you probably won't want to get out to, the world's largest corn maze. Now, <laughs> let me just tell you what. Volanda Calloway is the one who made me go to a corn maze. I didn't make okay, you. Okay, she told me. You should I go to the corn I suggested you go to It a would be a good idea. Well, that okay. corn maze you just saw is the world's biggest corn maze, okay? And these people get so lost. They call 911. 43 acres. Yes. 43 acres. 43 acres. That's so a lot. This is the family here. Do we have sound from this family? Okay, take take a listen. Okay, we're here at the world's largest corn maze. The time is 3.41. It's 14. 3.14 p.m. <laughs> here we are, three quarters of the way through. We're really tired. It's been about five hours. Yay! Oh my. Five hours. Can you imagine? It took me 30 minutes to get out of Ken's corny corn mm -hmm. maze. It took me a little over an hour. I had two four year olds with me. But I was done after that. Yeah. I was done. I was like, 30 minutes, I'm yeah. done. Five hours. These people called 911. I listened to one of the calls. They were like, hello, we're in the corn maze. Can you help us? <laughs> that is not an emergency, by the way. It, it, it feels like an emergency no. to you, but to 911, they're like, no, oh, please. Yes, so, yeah. The artists who showcase their work <laughs> at Art Space in downtown Raleigh are kind enough to donate a piece of art for our set each month. In a few weeks, Art Space will host a fundraiser where you can purchase a piece. It's right there over Alex's head, right there. Isn't that lovely? Woo. That's our latest piece. So, here is the featured artist for this year's gala. It's great to have this gem in our community, I believe, because um, we have a variety of different um, pieces of artwork, sculpture, photography, paintings, um, installation, all sorts of different things happening here, and it's great exposure. And come right in, you can see an artist working and see the whole process from start to finish, and um, there's just so many reasons to support art space. So the piece I'm donating to the gala this year is behind me. It's called Ascent, A-S-C-E-N-T, and it's all about coming above our day-to-day -day troubles and trials and finding a tranquility and peace. And um, I want people to be um, inspired when they look at my work. And this is actually a piece from a series I've been doing for a number of years. And um, I'm also starting a new series and I'm gonna debut it on Friday, November 7th through the 29th downstairs at Art Space in the Upfront Gallery. And that's all completely new and different work. And I'm very excited to show that. So please come out and um, come see the work and come support the gala. The Art Space Collectors Gala is November 22nd. You can still purchase tickets. Visit artspacenc.org. All right, plus something else to check out Friday evening if you live in Goldsboro. Yeah, right? Goldsboro's holding its first ever downtown art walk. It's going on from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. To participate, go to the Arts Council or of Wayne County, pick up an art walk map, and an alt walk card. You can visit the businesses in any order you'd like. If you visit all of them, you'll be entered to win a $100 gift certificate good in the art market or for art classes. Which That's pretty cool. Stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. very cool. So if you think you're an artist, maybe you could cut someone's hair with swords. Swords. That's right? No, my, not ever. My, my. Not ever. But check this out. Meet Nguyen Huang Hung, a sword-wielding hairdresser from Vietnam. And believe it or not, this man actually cuts his client's hair 
with a sword. This is so scary to me. I'd be afraid he'd stab me in the neck and my life would end in the salon. I know. I thought that too. But he actually is very good. And what's He's funny, exceptional. He actually ends with a very fantastic haircut. Yes, he does. Which I, I don't know. I don't think I could be, even though I, I've seen his great work, I don't think I could be confident enough in sitting there and allowing him to cut my hair. That is a nice haircut. Look at that. I know. And then he's like, do you like it? Do you like the cut I did with the sword? Okay, that's the wrong accent. But, <laughs> but, but the point is, he was saying, do you like it in his accent? And, you know, that's all it is. It's unbelievable. <laughs> a sword is unbelievable. Yeah. He's got skills. So if you're ever in Vietnam, look up Nguyen Huang Hung Hung Hung. Hung. And, and how, how do you say, do you like your, your, your haircut? <laughs> do you like your haircut? Okay. Oh, you say it like that. Okay. Will the I real Elizabeth effort. Gallagher please stand up? Please stand up. Will yes. the real Elizabeth Gallagher please, please stand, stand up. up? Okay, a young man wrote a letter to a social media site called Reddit, if you don't know about it. And he asked for help because he decided to go on a trip with his girlfriend Elizabeth like a year Gallagher. ago. Elizabeth Gallagher. Mm -hmm. They broke up. Okay, I think we have a picture. Do we have a picture of this guy? Okay, there he is. Very handsome. Handsome. Good looking guy. Yeah. I don't know who this girl was that broke up with him. Elizabeth anyway. Gallagher. So she breaks up with him. She's like, it's not working out. They planned a trip to go around the world to like four different places. They're going to like Paris, like Bangkok, New Delhi, Toronto. They break up. He still has this ticket. And it's in her name. And it's in her name, and it can't be can't changed. Can't change it. Priceline, you know when you book on Priceline, you try to change it, forget uh, it, it's no, over. forget it. So he's like, will the real Gallagher please stand up? Meaning any girl with that name, he will give you his flight. <laughs> or her, her flight. flight. <laughs> right, her flight. So anyway, long story short, he says he doesn't want anything from you. He's not looking for a relationship. He doesn't want to get married. He doesn't want to, you know, like, he's like, just come on the trip, use the ticket. I'm paying it forward. I can't get my money back, so... Gosh, my name isn't Elizabeth Gallup. I know. Darn. But there's somebody out there. I mean, it's been all over the news. Somebody's going to be... I can't wait till the I, real Elizabeth Gallup well, stands up. I can't wait to hear who will take him up on this. I'm, I'm excited. Maybe they'll fall yeah. in love. That's what I told Blonde earlier. I was like, they might fall in love. It'll be a new love It'll story. It'll be a TV show. So, yeah, anyways, just saying. It's supposed <laughs> to rain today, by the way, Blonde. Did and I know? wore suede shoes. I know. Sorry. But yeah. if it rains today and you own one of these, you'll probably be pretty happy. Check this out. <laughs> it's the Stay Brella, a new umbrella that stands and hangs on its own. This umbrella is by a Japanese studio. They make all the cool stuff up there. It's a two-pronged handle that allows it to stand on its own when it's not in use. Anyways, That's it should cool. be coming to the state soon, so look for it.